Hey everyone, and uh, today we are going to talk about the Options Market Summary Dashboard, which is one of the most comprehensive dashboards for options flow out there. And there is just a lot of stuff in here to discuss in a single video. So what I'm going to do is just give you a very high level, high level overview of each of these charts and tables that you're seeing. But then we'll have slightly deeper uh, dives into many of these widgets, the market net flow and the decks and uh, things like that. Uh, so I'll add those longer videos in the comments, but this will be a very short overview of uh, what we are trying to do with the options market summary dashboard. So let's uh, start and uh, please know that this is not a deep type. Uh, I'll quickly discuss some of these things and they might go over your head and that's fine. But we have more videos to help you understand these uh, topics or these tools that we've developed uh, in a much on, on a much deeper level. So let's let's begin. Uh, so on the top we have the market net flow which is our uh, proprietary algorithm based on what the options flow for the entire market is uh, saying today so this is basically a sentiment from options flow from the entire market at every minute of the day in a cumulative fashion and i'll use the term cumulative quite a lot it just means that any new data point we get we just add it in the previous data points that we currently have and that gives this a cumulative chart and so what uh, this white line is the S&P's price or the SPY's price. The green line is the net premiums for calls. The red line is the net premiums for puts. And this here is momentum. And so let's actually talk about what uh, many of these terms are. So I'll start with uh, what net premiums are because that is a very important concept when you are using trading. So net premiums are the difference between bullish premiums and bearish premiums so bullish premiums come from buying calls and selling puts and bearish premiums come from buying puts and selling calls and if you just sum all of that up if you sum up the calls bought and the puts sold and if you subtract the puts bought and the calls sold then that gives you the net premiums for the options flow but we have these net premiums separately for calls, which would be for calls. Net premiums are simply the difference between calls bought minus the calls sold. And for puts, the net premiums is again simply the difference between the puts bought minus the puts sold. And so on a higher level, there are a couple of things that can happen in this chart. And just uh, to mention, this is a chart for day trading for most of the time. If you want to do swing trading, then we will talk about this market dex next market dex next so there are a couple of things that can happen here. one uh, that's the most ideal is calls go up and puts go down that means that today calls are being bought more than they are sold and puts are being sold more than they are bought and both of these are bullish signals think about this again if you didn't understand it right away more put selling is bullish more call buying is bullish and when that's happening then calls are going up puts are going down that's the most ideal scenario when that is happening we are expecting the price of the entire market but specifically for qqq for s p we are expecting the price for those tickers to go up and we can use that so anytime price dips a little bit while the flow still remains very bullish we can uh, anticipate that the market will go back up and so that's the first scenario. The second scenario is both calls and puts are going up. That just means that both calls and puts are being bought right now, which could mean the market is very the market could be very choppy. If both calls are and if both calls and puts are going down, then that again means market might be very choppy. If puts are going up and calls are going down, then that's a sort of bearish indicator and that can indicate that more puts are being bought, so market might actually go down. And so today when we started, you can see uh, calls were going up, puts were going down and we, we made a small move from 415 to about 418. But then although, <laughs> although the calls were going up, the puts started to go up as well. And uh, this sort of uh, increase in puts actually caused a decrease in price. And this was not the best day for market net flow. And I'm happy to start with this chart because market net flow is uh, we, we hype it a lot and that's for good reason because it works really well but i just want to mention that these tools are built on options flow and options flow has its in, options flow has its inherent limitations there are just people like us that are trading big sizes that are probably smart or that have a lot of money 
that we are looking at when we are looking at options below and they can sometimes be wrong as well then we have a bunch of uh, indicators we have a bunch of other important uh, things to look at over here so if you just hover over them and you will know what uh, they mean so just do that then we have the momentum which is simply the difference between the flow right now minus the difference between the flow in some past time so this just tells you how quickly and how much momentum there is in the bullish or bearish flow and then the bar that you are seeing on the back is just the a difference between calls and puts so that's what we call the algo flow so the the green and red lines being separate is what we call net flow which will come very handy if you know what it is because we'll talk about that in our video on options dashboard but if you take a difference between the calls net premiums and puts net premiums that gives us the algo flow we'll have another video on algo flow as well and this is something that a lot of people use so this actually gives you flow that is filtered based on days till expiration so if you look at uh, if you click on the filter for 7 days till expiration that filters out all the flow when doing these calculations that is more than 7 days away which could mean which means it only looks at the weekly expirations and that can sometimes uh, indicate what uh, what is about to happen a lot quicker than the overall or the unfiltered market net flow but i'd still recommend that you sort of play around you look at uh, all kinds of uh, parameters there and see what works for you similar to our uh, overall uh, stocks dashboard you can actually go back and look at how some of these things have worked in the past because we have a lot of historical data uh, if you let's say uh, look at friday very choppy day so let's actually look at a day that was more uh, i believe uh, more trendy and so this is good and this is what i was like this is the most ideal scenario whenever this happens you can uh, have higher confidence play so calls going up all day puts going down anytime that happens uh, you should be buying all puts uh, you should be buying all dips not puts sorry about that and you can see momentum straight po positive as well so this was a really uh, solid day for us if puts were going down then we uh, and calls were going if puts were going up calls were going down then we would be looking to short every rally we would be looking to buy puts and sort of go short because they would have a bearish center so that's it about the market net flow it still went a bit longer than i had anticipated but uh, it's it's a very important tool so we need to talk about this so market dex then is the very the very same concept but it works on top of deltas instead of premiums so it, you can assume it uh, as net deltas instead of net premiums and we slightly change the calculations in a way where it's much more suited to predict the next day's returns instead of predicting today's returns so this is not a day trading tool now this is more like a one two three four five day swing trading tool and this is an aggregated data for the entire day so this was every minute of the day so if you if you're a day trader if you're a scalper you need this but if you if you go to office and you just want to buy something in the morning and sell it uh, at the end of the day then the market x is for you each bar that you're seeing uh, is uh, whether the dex for the day is uh, bullish or not anytime we have bullish dex for today and this chart updates uh, one hour before the market is over or uh, it, it also updates after the market is over so that you can have the data from the last hour of the market anytime you have a bullish tax you want to buy spy qqq or iwm at this open of the next day and you want to close it at the end of the next day so you want to keep a position throughout the entire day based on what the dex was yesterday so today uh, let's actually look at so i'll i'll hide this uh, moving average so today dex was uh, bullish so what so what we want to do is buy a call or buy shares of spy at the open tomorrow and then we are going to sell them or we are going to close our position at the close tomorrow so that's what dex is for but anytime you uh, hit a stop loss and always use stop losses with this because they work really well why do they work you can actually look at that if you go to the back test and if you actually 
uh, back test different strategies for different stop losses so what this is doing is like just looking at one day forward returns with the one one percent stop loss and the results are amazing <laughs> Over the last year, uh, from April 2021 to uh, August uh, 2022, we had uh, over 50% returns in S&P. Like this is assuming you just bought one share of S&P at the open and you either hit your stop loss during the day or you closed it at the end of the day. And again, very nice returns. Uh, SPY, and just to give you some perspective, is only up about 2% over the last 14 months and this strategy is up 80%. Again, that's uh, just a very short overview. We have an entire video on market decks. I'll link that in the comments. Then we have a dex impact, and this just shows you when deltas or dex uh, is positive, what are the average returns the next day, and when it is negative, what are the average returns. And this line has a slightly upward slope, which means when dex is positive. Uh, there is a higher chance that there are going to be positive returns the next day. When DEX is negative, there is a higher chance that market is going to go down. And then we have the market Greeks, which is again, now instead of looking at deltas for the entire market, we'll look at gamma, we'll look at vena, which is uh, which is what, which is a volatility Greek. And then we look at charm, which is like day still expiration Greek. And so you can just click on this and you'll see the charts, historical charts based on total gamma vena charm and just the total value as well and this is uh, an experimental widget right now we are still trying to come up with ways uh, on how to best use it to make plays or, or to figure out market sentiment to figure out market dynamics so i, I don't have much to talk about uh, today but uh, i'll make sure that i create a, a, a separate video for this once we have uh, more knowledge about uh, this chart all right, so then we go to the top options flow. So these bars are again net premiums for each of these stocks and we are sorting them based on which stocks have the highest and the lowest net premiums. And then for, with the daily options flow, we also have the weekly, which is the, based on last five days. Then we have some uh, very simple charts that show the highest call volume, the highest, highest call open interest or the call premiums uh, today versus the last five days. So the green bar and the red bars are today and the gray bars are the last five days. Then these are uh, pretty a cool table. So we look at, uh, for cheap lease, we look at all contracts, we sort them based on the total volume they had today uh, and uh, their, their price. And the lowest price and the highest volume contracts are called cheap lease. These are just bets that people are placing uh, that are like wild bets if they succeed they'll give you huge profits, otherwise they'll just go to zero. And so you can see like 100K volume on pins, puts, uh, for, I think like, <laughs> a puts expiring uh, in 10 days. And the bid ask is only about like, it's, it's a $12 contract. Then we have leaps, which is the same concept, but instead of looking at the like cheapest contracts, we look at the contract contracts that have, that have farthest out. Then we have most OTM, which is most out of the money strike. And then similarly, we have largest uh, out of the money open interest. And again, we look at the most volume based contracts and then we sort them based on out of the money, cheapness, uh, being leaps, things like that. And that's what generates this chart. And I, I would like to mention that this entire market, uh, sort of options market summary page updates every minute, especially the market net flow, it updates every 30 seconds. But if you just refresh it, some of the charts auto refresh, especially the market net flow. If you refresh it, uh, the data that you'll be seeing was derived uh, one minute ago. Obviously, with charts like market decks, uh, we don't we, we don't update it uh, every single minute because it's a swing trading tool. So we update it every hour, but still we are doing our calculations uh, for most of these charts every minute. Then uh, this is a very simple chart as well, which shows the largest orders of the day. If you hover over these circles you'll see the details of the contract so someone uh, traded a 14 million dollar tesla put uh, that was a leap for 2023 bid ask was about 1040 which is huge and they bought or sold about 2000 contracts and you can actually just hover over these to get their details 
Then the bull shift, the bear shift, the bullish matrix and the bearish matrix. These are tools based on something we call matrix. And if you want to understand what matrix is, I'd highly recommend going to the options sticker dashboard. There is a there is an entire matrix chart that has a guide with it. Just read that guide and you'll know what these are. Then we have uh, the sector and the industry flow based on like which sectors and industries are getting the most bullish and bearish flow. And we, we, we sum up uh, flow from all the stocks within that sector, within that industry, and that's what generates this chart. Then we have some historical sector flow and the daily sector flow. But again, these are uh, these are very simple charts. We are just looking at the net premiums for different sectors, for different industries. And then the last chart we have is just a summary of, uh, just a summary statistic of each stock in the market that is getting some flow today. So things like how many orders did we have for Tesla calls, for Tesla puts, things like that. We have separated these into two different tables uh, just because I think it's visually easy uh, and just gives you slightly more information. So again, uh, net premiums, uh, percentage of buys uh, in calls, average expiration date or average days till expiration. <laughs> how many of those contracts were out of the money? That's like a percentage. Our team score is again, how, how many of those contracts were out of the money? And then eyeball percent is like just the implied volatility. And that wraps up our options market, options uh, market summary dashboard. I hope this was useful to you. Uh, many of these uh, charts and tables are again, uh, pretty easy to understand, but things like market net flow and tax involve a lot of complex calculations on our end. So we need to do uh, a good job of explaining them. Uh, I, I've tried to explain uh, these uh, things uh, on a very higher level in this video, but we'll also create more videos. We'll also link them in the description on going deeper into uh, some of these topics. So I hope you uh, people enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys around.